Hello and welcome back to Joffrey Baratheon slash Lannister. And we are, uh, we're doing very, very well. We have uh, taken a lot of stuff from the Stormlands. They are pretty much falling apart. Stannis has lost his title to his daughter, who is, of course, our cousin. And things are not going well over there, at, like in any capacity. And the North is currently struggling with the Ironborn and um, is also struggling against the Westlands in the South. So they are falling apart as well. And we're just sitting here letting it happen and torturing people in our dungeons. It's all a lot of fun. Your Grace, I, Danos Slint, sincerely ask I be allowed to pursue a career at the Citadel in Old Town. Well, well, I, yeah, sure. You can go and be a maester if you want to be a maester. Oh, and of course, and Jothus Slint also asked at the same time to go and be a, so, what was that? Danos asked to be a, a maester, and then you also asked to be a maester. Sure, you can both be maesters. I really don't care. That is uh, definitely something that Joffrey would not care at all about, and would probably just say, yes, go, get out of my sight. My prisoner, uh, Selyse Dondarrion, is complaining about her dark cell in the dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. Um, well, we probably the oublette, I would imagine. Uh, that's the sister of Beric. Yes. My prisoner, Alaria Dane, is complaining about her dark cell in the dungeons, asking for more suitable accommodation. Well, how about the oblette for you as well? Yes, lots of people uh, not having a very good time. A raven has arrived from the sister. We should prepare as winter is coming. Okay, we should check that war up there. Um, it seems like it's all controlled by the right people currently. I don't see any uh, White Walker-like people up there, which is good. Your Grace, I'll honor my allegiance and take up arms against uh, to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. The armies of Black Mo um, Blackmont shall join you as soon as possible. So that's um, Lara Blackmont, married to Toprin of Blackmont. Excellent. Righteously imprisoned Shea. No, we can't. Cancel votes, no. Okay. Uh, why, though? She wants to replace Varys as Master of Whispers. Oh, and the council are for that, I see. We could ba banish Genry if we want to. It's special character action. I don't really want to. I think torturing him is much more fun. Your Grace will honor my uh, allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. So that's the Breakstones have decided to join us. Excellent, 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 excellent. Well... Let's keep going. Another person has joined us. They... No, he hasn't. He uh, died, and it's the bug where if they die, they it says they join you, even if they've just gone neutral. That's fine. Your Grace, uh, the Belmores have joined us. Excellent, excellent, excellent. And another one. The... Uh, nope, he did not join us. He died. Okay. Yeah, a ton of events in this one. A representative from the Iron Bank of Bravos is here, reminding me of that loan I took. I do not have the pool amount, but I'll pay the interest, or you don't have a single coin for me. Um, we probably pay the interest, I think. Oh, ton of new events. Okay. My liege, my mission to Highgarden so far has been a success. During my visit to the court of Lord Paramount, Mace of the Reach, I seem to have managed to make him understand what a benevolent and peaceful ruler you really are, and he sends his regards. Your humble master of laws, Lord Maliard. Perfect. Mace Tyrell now likes us a little bit. The guards drag Genry of Hollow Hall up from his cell and throw him at your feet. I've come for justice, he says. By right of birth and blood, I demand trial by combat. Um. Okay, he'll be outraged. You know what? No. We're going to refuse it. You're going to go back to the cells, Genry. We, we haven't finished torturing you yet. You'll stay there until uh, we're done with you. Your Grace, I will honor my allegiance and take up arms against the defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. The armies of Sharp Point shall join you as soon as possible. Oh wait, I just noticed something here. It looked excellent. Um, I should set everyone a special interest because I missed this pop-up where um Well not Eddard Stark. Rob died. He was slain by Burton Humble in personal combat. Burton Humble, get a little bit of a get your uh, golden star. You are now my new favorite person. Oh, you're from the Iron Isles. Never mind. Right. You're slain by an Iron uh, Islander. Interesting. We'll set Bran as a special. We'll set uh, Robin as a, sp uh, as a 
Robert is it special? I don't know why I call him Robin. That was weird. Edmure? Um, Edmure still controls it? I thought his father controlled it. Maybe he died before this bookmark. He did indeed die before this bookmark. Okay. At Tywin, you get a little gold star. Also, why don't we have an alliance with you? We should definitely have an alliance with you. Yes. And an alliance with the Reach, if they would have it. They wouldn't have it, but you are still special interest. Dorn, um, you are special interest, and we don't get an alliance with you. You are special interest, and we're at war with you. Perfect. That seems about right. Oh, and a few other special interests. You are at war with... Daenerys. Okay, you get your little gold star. Okay, how's the war with Daenerys going, by the way? Uh, the Khaleesi is going to win. Okay, fair enough. Anyway, so I'll honor my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. Uh, Geralt Grafton. Sir Bronn has been a leal and able servant, having successfully completed many tasks in aid of the Iron Throne. I've seen as the right and honorable course to reward from certain incomes and grants as to foster greater loyalty. No, we, we owe him nothing. He's not, um... He's, uh... He's not really working for us. He's more working for Tyrion. Wise Master Yurkai is the second of Yunkai accepted Khaleesi Daenerys Stormborn's peace offer. So what was our peace offer? Um... Oh, they no longer have slaves. Okay. And she still holds the land in... Astapor. Apparently. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Okay, that's fine. Dear grandson, peace be with you. I, Lord Paramount Tywin of the Westlands, accept your proposal for an alliance. Okay, fantastic. Your grace, I'll honor my allegiance to take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. Um, the armies of strong songs will join you as soon as possible, so the Belmores are joining us. Excellent. And Khaleesi Daenerys Stormborn has declared the Khaleesi Daenerys Liberation of Marine. Alright, so she's now off for Marine. She's going for it. Fate smiles upon me. My wife Marjorie is pregnant. Oh, fantastic. Uh, the new High Septum has joined us. He's the lazy one. Uh, the Celtigars have joined us. Everyone is joining us eventually. Septon Jonald accepted Lady Paramount Shireen of the Stormlands peace offer, so the uh, Faith of the Seven Revolt has failed in the Stormlands. Edmure Tully is buying some favors. Jamie Lannister is still imprisoned. That's why he's not joining us. He's not craven. Um, my liege, may you live in harmony and contentment. I've discovered a plot where Marjorie Tyrell seeks to replace Queen Cersei and become regent. No. Really? Well, uh, the council votes no, so I'm afraid she's not going to imprison either of Varys. Definitely not. Right. Um, your bannerman, Lord Paramount Robert, Robert Aaron, is currently under threat from external enemies. Shall we fulfill our kingly duty and aid them? He's being attacked by Pentosh in a Pentosh slave raid. Um, he can cope. I'm definitely gonna say he can cope. I don't care about all of these negatives. I'm 100% sure that's what Joffrey would say. He would probably not care one bit. Your Grace, I'll honor my allegiance and take up arms to defend the realm against the Iron Throne's enemies. The armies of the Crossing shall join you as soon as possible. That's Stevron Frey has joined us. Walder has finally died. Um, he died one year ago. And he has now been replaced by Stevron. Excellent. Excellent. The Crossing has now actually made a choice. Made its declaration. Uh, your Bannerman, Lord Paramount Robert Aaron, is currently under threat from external enemies. Same ones. He can still cope. Yep. My courtier, uh, Jalabar Zo, has expressed a desire to get married and has asked for permission to find um, a suitable spouse. So she was, he was married to uh, Jalata Romuto? Uh, I have no idea. So, um, yeah, marriage, please. Marry Tanda. Okay. Uh, we're no longer in command. I guess somebody walked on King's Landing. Yeah, somebody walked on King's Landing. How many men do we have? Uh, we have a reasonable amount. We could potentially raise them all up again, but I don't see a great reason to do that. Uh, we're still going to say no. We're going to take these negatives and we're going to run away with them. 
Lord Mathis II of Golden Grove has usurped the High Lordship of North March from Sir Martin of Steadfast, so the Rowans have taken land from the Osgreys. Okay. How are we doing in these wars? We're almost one to north. Fantastic. Um, oh, Severon of the uh, Crossing has died. Uh, natural death has been replaced by Ryman Free, who has also decided to join us. Fantastic. Um, yep, yeah, same thing. He can cope. I'll take the negatives all the way along. I can't stop thinking of all those prisoners in my dungeon. They're at my complete mercy. What a thrill it would be to hurt them. To hear the sweet, sweet screams. To see the panic in their eyes. Guards, oil up the rack. Real Alaria Dane is going to be uh, tortured this time. And she became wounded. Your bannerman, Lord Willem Mouton, is currently under threat from external sources. Um, who's he being attacked by? A slave raid from Maidenpool? He can cope. He can definitely cope. Yes, yes. And Grace, for some time now, I've been in the employ of Lord Gilbert, but I seek a better station. I humbly request to join you in King's Landing so I may serve you. All I ask in return is a small recompense. Well, no, uh, definitely not. No. No. I have finished my education and diplomacy. I feel that. Oh! Okay, a whole bunch of things happened there. Auto saves. Uh, get out of the way, Regency. I finished my education and diplomacy. I feel that I have some talent for it. Speak softly and carry a big stick. You're a charismatic negotiator. Ooh. And my young acquaintance, uh, Jean, has finished. Jane? Jane? Probably? Has finished her um, education with a complete lack of gains. Uh, she still tried her best to study military arts. Perhaps I could have. Uh, perhaps I could have failed her. Very weird way of uh, saying that, but okay. Uh, ambition. Exalted. Prove combat ability, fall in love, have a daughter, have a son, ha obtain a Valyrian sword. Joffrey, what would your option be? Become exalted? Is wants his name to live forever in the annals of history. That kind of fits him quite well. It's nothing he'll actually achieve, but it fits him quite well. And a focus. Probably not seduction. Probably not intrigue. Hunting sounds perfect, actually. I was just looking at them all there. Hunting. Uh, was travel the realm, making friends and killing off God's creatures. Pretty much perfect. Right, and now we are in charge. Does this mean that we can kill Gendry if we want to? We could, yes. Um, I think it is time for Gendry to die. We are now, you know, in power enough that we can control what's happening with these people. So, Gendry, you, you're dead. You are no more. Sansa, uh, we're still working with you. I was thinking we'd do something there, but actually we should wait to the end of the war. Septim Narbert of the Faith of the Seven Uprising led the fourth Faith of the Seven Uprising against Lady per Paramount Shireen of the Stormlands. And then Septim Selwyn had actually already led the third. Oh, and there's the second, Septim Willem. The Stormlands have a bunch of revolts against them. Robert Aaron is under a threat from external forces. Well, he can cope. Marcella uh, Lannister lacks um, an education focus. Okay. Uh, Roderick Flint died and didn't actually join us. Marcella! Education focus. Uh, you're in Doran. You're being educated by Prince Doran. Doran is very good at intrigue, very good at diplomacy, and fairly good at stewardship. Not Marshall. Okay, that's what we're getting from that. Um, intrigue would not seem out of place, especially if we're still saying that there's going to be other forces in Dorne working with her. I think intrigue seems like something that they would probably be very into. Your bannerman, Lord Willem Mouton, is currently under threat from external enemies. Uh, well, I guess he can cope, can't he? Arrange marriage. You would like Martin Lannister to marry our mother. Again, no, I, I, don't, I don't see that as a thing that would happen. Your Grace, it has come to my attention that nobody has been designated regent for the Iron Throne should the realm need it. And needless to say, this is a perilous position, and surely squabble and rivalry will merge without clear leadership. I humbly petition you name me as designated regent to avoid this sort of trouble, signed Sir Braun. Uh, that is absurd. But, um, I suspect our regent, should we need it, uh, he can cope, would probably be our mother. Yeah, let's make it our mother. Minor title, designated regent, 
Um, name Cersei Lannister. There we go. We do have a whole po bunch of other things here that we could do. But we'll leave them for just now. We'll leave them until the end of the war, I think. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, some phrases have been released from Tywin Lannister's uh, dungeons. He can cope. Do our vassals, like, absolutely despise us? Oh, yeah. This is perfect. Dangerous factions. Edric for the Iron Throne. Edric Storm. Renfred of Duskendale is pushing that faction. Hmm. Yes. Oh, we can imprison Mathos of Dalston Keep for trying to replace Bronn as Master of Arms. And we can just imprison um, our mother if we wanted to. Just in general, we can imprison her. Uh, we have an heir. If you, your character dies now, you'll place Alar Lannister. Now, would we name it Alar? I don't know if we would name it Alar. Well, what do you think? Tywin, maybe, would be a better name? I think Tywin seems like a much better name. Unless, um, maybe Marjorie would have a say in it. Does she have any names that sound like they would fit? Not necessarily, unless we were naming it something like Mace or Luthor, maybe. Um, we could name it Rob if we were going for ultimate uh, annoying Sansa. Yeah, let's uh, let's name it Tywin. This is Tywin. Uh, let's just check. Yeah, Quick Child. I was checking. If it was a dwarf, then it was definitely Tyrion. But, uh, you know, it can be uh, Tywin. Actually, no, if it was a dwarf, it should have just been Rob, because that would have been. Uh, that would have really uh, been sticking it to Sansa. Or, or Eddard. Eddard would be another one. Uh, Tyrion Lannister is called in a favor on Varys. Oh, that's worrying. Uh, Lord Gunther approaches you. My liege, I have a great idea for a monument. Something to raise our cultural status and make people notice what a great ruler you are. I would require some gold and your patience, and the work would take a year to complete. Of course. Yes, of course Joffrey would want a monument to himself. I, I, I can't see why he wouldn't. Uh, yeah, this guy can still cope with the external enemies. Oh, Jamie the Kingslayer has been released from uh, the North's dungeons for some reason. Don't know why he was released, but he's released. Great. Fantastic. Uh, he can still cope with the external enemies. That's fine. Definitely fine. Yep, he can cope. This honorable Lord Gemus Frey has failed to answer my call to arms, taking sight of the rebels. But this Frey has joined the other side. So his past... Wait. Oh, wow. His past... Wait. Is this a different bit of Frey? Or he's of the Frey Lands, not of the Crossing. Oh, so this is um, him effectively trying to get the Crossing for himself instead of, uh, like, instead of letting his relation Ryman have it. Okay. Septim Willen accepted Lloyd D. Paramount Shreen of the Stormlands Peace Office. So that's one of the revolts done. Robert Aaron can cope. And we're about to win the war in the north. Uh, William Willem Mouton is currently under threat from external enemies. He can again cope, definitely. And 100% war with the North. We will enforce our demands. We imprison... Uh, okay, so. Brandon Stark will lose the crown and be named Lord Paramount of the North, becoming de jure part of the Iron Throne. Lord Paramount Edmure II, the Unworthy, is imprisoned by us. Uh, King Brandon of the North is imprisoned by us. We get Prestige... They lose prestige and we gain prestige. The War of Northern Independence has ended. The war has been won. The rebels' armies have been crushed by our brave loyalists. Lord Paramount Brandon Stark, one of the traitors, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. And we will find out what that is next time. Thank you for watching. I'll see you then. Goodbye.